What's going on, Hickory Hitters? Thank you for tuning back into the Hickory Hitters Bass Fishing Channel. Uh, for those whose first time this is, please do me a favor, hit that like, that notification, and that subscribe button so you can get more content. Um, this morning, it is roughly 5.30. Getting ready to go out and hit Lake Norman. Just got word from a few fellow fishermen. Water temp is 68 degrees. It is approximately 58 degrees outside. Getting ready to go get the boy up so we can hit the water. Um, we're going to be putting in at... Hmm... Probably the Pinnacle Access is probably where we're going to put in at. And we're going to run to McCrary. That's probably where we're going to run to. Um, I've been hearing there the tight water, the top water bites home. I've been hearing there's been some big fish call. So, with that being said, let's get out there and get some hook sets. So please hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell. Stay tuned for the video. All right, keep them wet. I'm gonna put some videos up of me using this. And boy, man, I'm telling you, me, and, and and the son, man, I'm telling you, we went out there and we tore him up. You take a 12 year old, and I, I took him to Academy. I said, get what rod you want. He picked the most basic rod that you could find. I mean, basic. He loves it. And he outfished me. Same bait, same holes, same everything. He was on the back of the boat, I was on the front. He blew me out of the water. When I say blew me, he blew me out of the water. Put some videos up and i'm gonna show you guys why this bait works so great so great if you've never used a biz bait if you've never used a ned dizzy or a sassy stick i'm telling you go get them go get them i don't care if you live in north carolina south carolina tennessee wherever you live go get you some ned dizzies these things work it's not your conventional worm with a rattle <laughs> Okay, might work every once in a while. This thing works. I skip it up underneath the dock, and you just watch it. You watch your line just swim off. And then you just set that hook, man, and they swallow it. Got a few videos where fish have swallowed it, and wasn't pretty, but I saved them. They got released back healthy. But these Ned Dizzies work. I'll show you how this works with these. Now, if you remember me showing you the Z-Man fatties, you could also shaky head or wacky rig these. A wacky rig these. This is a versatile bait. You can do it either way. A wacky rig these. Now, if you look at those two baits, see how much skinnier that one is? How meatier that one is? It's gonna fall faster. I like that subtle fall. So when it's doing this and that water flapping down, that tail just wiggling, they can't stand it. That has action. This has better action get skinnier as you go down to me that does not hand that that's not hold up you will go through a lot of these sorry Brian but you will go through a lot a lot of these versus these a one stick bait that is one diameter same size all the way through till you get to the end of that tail it's not what you need to worry about what you need to worry about is when they bite it, is it are they gonna tear it in half or am I, am I gonna lose my bait no now, like I said, that thing sits and it just wiggles. You can see the difference in the baits. That's why I said this one is my 30 percenter. It just, there is no oomph to it. There's nothing there. No stand up. It just falls over. This thing stands up and it moves. It moves. See that? A lot. That's why I say, go and get you 
some sassy sticks. Go down to Mega Bass, see Rick, tell him Carlton sent you from Hickory Hitters Bass Fishing, okay? Get you some of these. He also makes hog collars, which are spinner baits. Some of you guys might not even be familiar with these, but it's a bent arm spinner bait, okay? With multiple blades. They call the fish guys, he can do it. He makes the best stuff around. Now, the, the, the husband and wife team that made these, that came out with a great bait. They did a phenomenal job. They, there was no copying, no nothing. There is no other bait out there like this. So, my question to you guys, you guys fish a lot of soft plastics. You guys fish a lot. I want to know what one of these three baits that I fish that you want to put up against one of your baits. So, drop in the comment section, what would you like to see me fish against with one of these baits? I don't know if you want to do a drop shot versus the, the, the Ned Dizzy or the Sassy Stick or the Fatty Z or one of the Guggen baits. I would take, I will put one of these three baits up against any bait that you use in a finesse type situation in any lake. Um, like I said, I, I fish like normal a lot. I fish like hickory, I fish, I fish road his. I like Norman, um, it's a bigger lake. There's a lot more coves and docks, which is what I like. I even fish it in deep water. So um, please put down in the comment, what would you like to see me fish up against? Um, if you guys have some other Z-Man or some a zoom bait that you want me to fish against, please put in the comments and let me know. Thanks for tuning in to Hickory Bass Fishing. Um, stay tuned for the next video. If you would please hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell for the next video, I greatly appreciate. So 828, let's go get a hook set. Welcome back to Hickory Hitters Bass Fishing. How are you guys doing? First of all, I'd like to say thank you guys for tuning in to my channel and rocking with me here in the 828. Um, for you guys that are new to the channel, if you do me a favor, hit that like button, that subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way when I do some new videos, you guys will be the first one to uh, know about them. And also in the comment section on my next challenge, I'd like for you guys to let me know what baits you want me to fish. I'm gonna do a competition comparison between these baits. So to kind of get into get into it a little bit, um, I've been fishing Lake Norman uh, for a few weekends now, um, and it's great fishing. Um, I think that lake is one of the lakes around here that has a lot of bass in it. Um, there's some small ones, but you have an opportunity to catch a big one out of that. I've caught a few. Um, but today, the reason for this video is I want to do some comparison in baits. There's a lot of baits out on the market today. Um, and a lot of people use them. Some say they work, some say they don't. Uh, me personally, I do not throw crankbait. Occasionally I'll throw a spinnerbait out on Lake Norman, uh, but it doesn't seem to work for me. So what I wanna get into today are the specific plastics that I use out on Lake Norman. And the first one, uh, pretty sure you guys know about the brand first of all is the Guggen Squad pretty good bait can't knock the Guggen Squad for what they did it's a pretty good bait the second one is the Z-Man the Fatty Z's it's a very very meaty bait very meaty and the next contender is a bait that I tend to use a lot, a stick bite. 
that is biz baits biz baits right here i want to give a shout out to mega bass rick and colony springs um if you guys do not know who he is wonderful guy um, he makes baits he makes skirts his shops loaded with all kinds of goodies homemade stuff a lot of biz baits i'm gonna put um a picture of the shop and the phone number in this video so you guys will know how to get a hold of him like i said rick's a great guy I had a chance to meet him talk to him gain a lot of knowledge this guy is very very knowledgeable so shout out rick thank you for everything you do now getting back into it I do a lot of finesse fishing out on Lake Hickory. Well, excuse me, on Lake Norman. A lot of finesse fishing. So that means um, I'm using Ned rigs. I'm using shaky head, drop shot. I'm doing it all out on Lake Norman. That's what works for me. Now, what I want to get into are the types of wacky rigs and stuff like that the first one that i want to get into that i've seen people use me personally i haven't done it i haven't seen a point in doing it are these these are by the guggen squad these are the slim shape worms very scented um they hold scent very very well it's a very big bait get it out of here it's a very big stick bait. don't know if you guys can see it very stretchy it smells awesome it's what they call slaunch sauce it's slaunchy but um, people use this kind of with a I use it on a one aught or two aught hook and I use it like this as a wacky rig so when I throw it, it falls down in the water like this. Great bait, but to me, I think it's very bulky. Does it work? Now let's get into it. I've used several Guggen style baits. This one here is the Lunker Log by Guggen Squad. Now if you can tell the difference between the baits, see that? One is just very loose. This one is, it's loose, but it's got meat to it. Now, do I fish this as a wacky rig too. So it's doing this in the water. Now what I do, I do not use just a single color. I dye my baits. For the reason being, it gives them a different presentation. When I'm skipping, when I'm skipping up under the, the docks, and you see a green pumpkin worm, you they see it all the time. So what are you gonna catch? You're gonna catch dinks all the time. Dinks, 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 all the time. So what I do is I try to change it up. So what I normally would do, I got this black and blue flake. I might take some green chartreuse and I'll dye the ends. So when that thing's falling, that green's flapping just like that. That's a very different presentation for these fish. Okay? They don't see that often. They just see normal colors. Just flapping down in there. Huh? We don't want it. Now they see something different with color on it. Interesting. That's not normal. That's not supposed to be here. So, what they do, that bucket mouth just grabs it. Great bait. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll give you guys my order on how I think these baits work at the end. And I, I, what I'm telling you guys, I would encourage you to use it. Not gonna tell you nothing wrong. 
like I said, I do a lot of tournament fishing. A lot. I know a lot of guys. A lot of guys that do what I do. So if I'm telling you something, I'm not telling you anything wrong. You should give it a try. Get this back in here. Don't want to lose my sunch. All right, next up. Or the Z-Man Fatties. Or the Fatty Z. Not familiar that much with these in the beginning. Started watching a few pros. Um, I actually ordered these from Brian Lattimore. Super, super great guy. Very informational. He puts you on the fish, he tells you. Now, with that being said, what worked for him in South Carolina does not work for me in North Carolina. I ordered these off of his website. I got a nice package deal. He did some great things with the coronavirus going on. He donated a lot of stuff. So I said, hey, what's a better way for me to give back through everybody else's time of need when I was okay? So I ordered a package. And in that package, these came. The Fatty Z's. It is a very meaty bait. The cool thing about these are, once you put your hook through, there's an opening. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's an opening in the back. So your hook slides out. So when you're shaky heading this fish, that hook is making this thing stand up. And that thing's flat. The fish cannot stand that. That's like nan nanny boo boo. That's what they're, this is what this is doing to them. It's playing a kid's game. So that thing's hopping on the bottom and fish cannot resist that tail slap, that wiggle from that current. Same thing with these that I do with any other uh, baits. I dye that tail. Now this particular one is green pumpkin blue flake. Does it work on Lake Norman? And my answer to that is 30% of the time. 30% of the time. Guggen squad baits, 10%. The fatties, 30%. It 30% works. I don't know why they don't pick this bait up as much. I think it's a phenomenal bait. But they do not pick it up as much. So, with that being said, it is a bait that I would go to if my number one choice really didn't work for some, a different presentation. I would pick this up. Great bait, but doesn't work that well on Lake Norman to me. Now, number one contender, Biz Baits. This is what you call the Ned Dizzy. This is the Ned Dizzy. And the Sassy Stick. Oh, she's sassy, baby. She's very sassy. Now, I wanna show you guys so The difference between these two. These are both Ned Rig baits, okay? Now, the difference between the two, as you can see, this is just, to me, it's just a worm that was cut in half and somebody stuck a rattle in it. Hear that? That's what they did. She just put a rattle in it. Smells so good. Slaunch, baby, smells so good. Now, this bait, no noise. But do you see that action? When that thing's sitting on the bottom, that diamond shaped tail, it's flat at the bottom, but the way the texture and curves are, the water ribs off of this. So that thing, it you see it. That's how it sits at the bottom of the lake. It just sits there and does this. 
that's all it does and they cannot stand it now with something like this I do the same thing I dye the tail when I dye it I dye it from here all the way back chartreuse very different presentation they tear it up I'm gonna put some videos up 